Many years ago, the great British explorer George Mallory, who was to die on Mount Everest, was asked why did he want to climb it. He said because it is there. Well, space is there. And we're going to climb it. And the moon and the planets are there. And new hopes for knowledge and peace are there. And therefore, as we set sail, we ask God's blessing on the most hazardous and dangerous and greatest adventure on which man has ever embarked. Since 1962, the Marine Corps' footprint has always been present in space. Marine Colonel John Glenn, the first American to orbit Earth, set the stage for future generations of Marines as part of Project Mercury. In 2022, Colonel Nicole Mann became the first female Marine officer to command a space mission as mission commander. She will lead the mission and will be leaving Earth to spend six months at the International Space Station as part of NASA's Artemis project. My son had served with her uh, in Iraq. She was an F-18 pilot. They weren't in the same squadron, but, but she, her reputation preceded her. She was an exceptional uh, fighter pilot, F-18 pilot, test pilot at Patuxent River. But, but Nicole is just an incredible mother uh, and Marine and um, just fun to be around, uh, hard charging, very serious about her work and everything. So I'm, I'm incredibly proud to have her in the astronaut corps. Before I entered uh, NASA and the Marine Corps, I was a little girl growing up in Northern California. And after graduating high school, I knew I wanted to serve in the military. I was also interested in engineering and science, and I also enjoyed playing soccer. So that led me to the United States Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland, where I, for four years, I studied uh, mechanical engineering, was fortunate enough to be able to play soccer, and of course, service selected Marine Corps. Today, the Marine Corps will continue its legacy in space, paving the way for future generations of Marines and for those who want to inspire the world through space exploration and discovery.